Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Two Dykes and a Mic. I'm Mackenzie Goodwin. And I'm Rachel Scanlon. And make some noise if you love your bodies. A lot better. Okay. I want you to know those listening, because we're going to cut the other two intros. Rachel oh. had some really, I would say, crass, crass, vulgar intros that you were doing. I'm sorry, but like I was hyping up and it, I wasn't lying. And also like shout out having a cool body and honestly like loving yourself. Everyone's all, oh, body positivity, body positivity. And the second you're like, hey, I've got a killer pussy, oh then everyone's God. weird about it. No one's, listen, no one's being weird about Everyone's it. being weird about I it. I was HR. just like, hey, we want this episode. To not get flagged immediately. To not get flagged immediately. This episode is raunchy. It's Raunch City USA forward slash squirt yeah. backslash poo poo. Hey. Forward and then semicolon. 69 We have an amazing guest on today. Um, she is a pop star. Mm -hmm. She is so hot. I'm a huge fan of this guest. And also wildly funny. So funny, so talented. I was like, there was an energy in the studio, was yeah. there not? No, I'm obsessed with her. I love moments uh, on this show and in life mm -hmm. where queer people get to kick back yeah. and LOL and swap some stories. You're going to get some stories with this person. <laughs> yeah. We have on today Zolita, who is um, such an amazing musician. You and I are actually obsessed. We yeah. sat around your living room for, I would say, way too long, mm -hmm. about six hours straight, consuming her content. Yes, we did. And I was like running around dancing to the songs, Same. singing to the music. Same. She's so fucking good. She's so talented. We have her later on the pod, but you and I have some things to talk about before we get to her. Sure. Demi Moore is back. Stop. Demi Moore is back. What do you mean? Back. First of all, she was never gone. Yes, she was. There was a moment where she was Do you gone. say Demi or do you say Demi? I say Demi like Demi. God. Yes. Because Demi, she is. Demi Moore. Demi Moore. I think it's Demi Moore. Demi. Or is it Demi? You know what? Don't care. Love both. I like demean because it demeans me. It's like not demean de me. It's not demean. It's oh, definitely not demean. Well, short for. Do you think Demi? Short, short for, for demean, demean me. Like, be mean to me, yeah. please. I want to start off by saying I feel really uncomfortable that I'm so far away from you. Same. The fact that I can barely touch you. I know. So we're recording today in Spotify Studios in Los Angeles. Shout out Spotify for being so fucking good to us. Spotify rocks. We love Spotify. You can see um, we brought our logo right here behind Ray. I thought Spotify wrapped meant that you let your lover wrap you up to the point of barely being able to speak and then they play Spotify. Oh, no, that's wrong. Huh. Well, it is still right depending on which households you're in. So we're in Spotify, but the only thing is, is they don't have a couch. They don't have a love seat. They don't have a love seat that you and I can literally be touching the whole podcast. We're trying to hook up. I can't even touch you. It sucks. It sucks. Okay, so wait. I'm so sorry. Can we go back to Demi Moore? Yeah. What do you mean? So she, she's back. She's back. She. There's a thing on TikTok, right? They're like, she has one of the best surgeons in Los Angeles. <laughs> She came out a couple years ago and had had some work done. Okay. Where she was almost unrecognizable. Okay. And people were like, this is sad. It like made BBL style or? BBL but on the face. Oh, okay. It was like some face BBL work. BBL face edition. Yeah. It was some face work. Okay. I want you to know, I stan Demi more. Sh same. Hard. Harder Absolutely. than, I w I'm going to be honest, most people. Yeah. I fucking love her. We all do. So when I saw this, I was like, damn. That sucks. Okay. I still love you so hard. Of course. She apparently got either whatever work was done was fixed or changed to where now she looks like what she did in 1980. Wow. People online are like, give us the doc's <laughs> name. Do we know for sure? Yeah. I'm. Here's the thing about me. Mm -hmm. I'm the person, I'm kind of like a dumb jock kind of comes to mind. Okay. Or like, you know how... Yeah, men will just look at stuff and be like, oh, well, yeah. That's kind of how I am when it comes to any type of plastic, plastic surgery. surgery or procedures. Sure. I'm just like, whatever you present to me. I think if I presented the before and after photos, you'd be like, wow, that's insane. I think I would be like, wow, timeless. <laughs> like, I don't ever register what's she going on. She is timeless. So, and I, when I mean she's back, I don't mean fi like her face is back. That's not what I'm oh, saying. Okay, okay. I'm saying she is now in. Back on, in the public eye? She's back in the public eye. She's now in a new series on FX. 
And she... Wait, which one? It's the swan one. Okay, I'm in. I'm already watching it. Okay. I'm already watching it, Can I'm she, consuming I'm it. I'm just saying, listen, and this doesn't matter. She's an amazing actress. For sure. She's also looking so fucking hot. Yeah, listen, it's okay. She looks so good. She looks so good. She, if you're like, hey, what's Kenny's type? It's Demi Moore now. It's Demi Moore, yeah. It's look. not even back in the no, day. No, no, it's no, no. now. Demi Moore is one of those people who... I am, you can't look away from how strikingly beautiful and talented she's so she is. Hot. She brings out in me, there's certain, you know, there's certain type of hotties that when you see them, it brings out a type of energy in you that makes you feel powerful. Yes. Demi Moore has an energy that makes me feel powerless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that is equally as as powerful it's in its thrilling. own way. Yeah, it's very thrilling. Thrilling. Yeah, I see the word Demi Moore electric. And, some would say. Some would say electric. electric. <laughs> I feel I feel alive in a way mm-hmm. that makes me feel like I want to be a stairmaster in the sense that I want her to step on me over and over and over again. I see her. I go stairmaster. Me. I'm your stairmaster. When I see her, it's what I imagine people seeing the Sistine Chapel when yeah. you start like. <laughs> crying at something that is literally <laughs> so beautiful yeah. I, do you see me gripping the chair yes, as I if do. i'm about to go on a ride <laughs> like a literal like log ride when i see yeah it is the sense of awe awe yeah i'm like how many men did it take <laughs> to build this pyramid that is to me more i'm like yeah. this is so actually she's so beautiful that there's like there would be a discovery channel docuseries about how actually ancient aliens yes. put her here it anyways to me more is back I am on cloud nine. We're all I'm on going cloud nine. to literally devour this whole TV series yeah. just because she's in it. Even though it's hard because whenever people portray Capote, mm-hmm. they do his voice because that's what he sounded like. Yeah. And it does take a while for you to be like, we're going to settle into this. Yeah. Here's what I love, if I may, for one second. Ryan Murphy has done the thing that, like, what we really want yeah. as consumers of good stuff across his entire career, he gives you women and queer people yeah. being interesting, fascinating, sinister, and all around Evil, well-rounded, everything. fucking cool ass. Yeah. You can't turn away. And I'm like, this is what I want. Yes. I want to show about women and gay people. And Ryan Murphy goes, Got you. Enjoy the content, you little bitch. And I go, <sighs> There's some there's some misses though if i'm being honest not in my book there's a couple american horror seasons where i was like that's one of the biggest misses do you remember when lady gaga yeah that's a that's a hit okay do you remember when was it stevie nicks yes stevie nicks was in season three hit also i'm gonna say it kim kardashian in this latest latest season hit hit yeah most are have you seen pose hit i'm I'm like stinker (laughs) no pose rocks (laughs) True. No, okay. Ryan Murphy fucking. Ryan Murphy rocks. Let me watch more. T- I, and it's still not. I can't get enough TV with women and gay people. Here's what it is. Gay men understand middle-aged women <laughs> like lesbians understand middle-aged yeah. women. That is, if there's a Venn diagram of lesbians and gay men, middle-aged actresses are the only <laughs> thing that actually we have in common. Yeah, we do. You're right. Uh, everyone's always like, oh, the LGBTQ plus community, like gay men. Like, do you remember when... <laughs> <laughs> like when you were the only lesbian you knew yeah. and straight people found the other gay guy in your college and was like, here you go. You go. And you looked at each other and you're, and like, you're like, what do we talk about? And it's Diane Lane. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking like, thank God we all like drag. Yeah. It's, it is it's drag, drag and, and like middle-aged actresses, middle-aged women yeah. specifically. Yeah. And monologues from middle-aged women. It's yes. going to be a monologue in the pouring rain <laughs> about one of her ex-husbands and how he did her wrong. But that is what we all have in common. Yeah. So anyways, Demi Moore's back. Yeah. I'm going to watch it and I will have to review it. And I'm talking about just her jaw. I'm going to review her jaw on the next episode. As you should. God, she's hot. I really... Her voice? She, and her, her talent. Her voice. She's unbelievably talented. And the she's... way she... I want. I almost said... Tr- like, trained like a dog ashton kutcher which can't be right no no no. nothing that i said can be right gi joe gi jane yeah that movie changed us changed me i feel like i'm gonna break the arm of no, this no, chair no, honestly take it easy on the chair <laughs> like oh my god i love i love her so much i know i've said go this listen and to I've her said it a thousand times i was at the same theater as her when i saw hedwig and the angry inch in los angeles that rocks and she wore a jean jacket with her own initials on it and i was like literally Stairmaster me. me. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if you know this. 
Tell me. But, okay, I was in my apartment recently, and I was sitting on my couch, and you're you're drinking a bad LaCroix. I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a professional. But it's I figured bad. the camera was going to be on you while I drank that. I drank it thinking to myself, Kenny's telling a story. Yeah. We'll watch Ken. Yeah. And then not me. But the problem is, is you're right in front of my face. I'm so- sorry. Okay, ignore me when I drink this disgusting LaCroix. That was an amazing accent if I'm being real. I'm watching Love Island All Stars, so there's some there's I, some I, scouse. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come in. Okay. I gotta watch Love Island. I miss oh. it. I miss it. Love yeah. Okay. I mean you have to be watching Love Island. The All Stars is really fun. It's just I know it's really stressful when you lose a few days because they put it out so frequently That's that you're so like, nice. I can't watch five hours of content. Then it turns out it rains in LA and maybe you can. Uh you can. I did eight hours the other day. Ooh, what were you watching for eight hours? One single movie, but I have maybe yeah what some attention problems oh yeah some might say you're neurotypical no or you're sorry i am neurotypical no you're not and so i have some attention problems so so we have a joke within our friendship that Mackenzie won't admit that she is neurodivergent when she absolutely diagnosably and diagnosed is you literally oh don't oh okay okay hr <laughs> HR. Wait, this is a public episode and I'm like outing you. I'm giving away all your disorders. Oh, dis- <laughs> Sorry, you do have mental issues and I think that's something you should talk about more publicly. I have once and people are like, thank God she admitted it finally. <laughs> you also like whispering. I have one. I have like technically three. Wait, can. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're talking about our, our diagnosed mental disorders. Yeah. Because, you know, I have, I only have one for real. I only have one. I had a book. There's no. I only have one. What are you actually diagnosed with? ADHD. That's the only one. Not OCD? Not <laughs> technically. Wait. That's what I'm like. Not technically. No, because she was like, my therapist was like, there are tendencies, but I said, I am not here for diagnoses or treatment. And she said, heard. So you were like being actively being diagnosed and you're like, like, stop the <laughs> My prerogative, my wow. body, my choice. Okay, I Wait. would like to diagnose you really quickly as with... annoying. Okay, can I diagnose you with having a gorgeous dumper? <laughs> don't HR. First off, HR. Second, don't say dumper, what man. What am I supposed to say? Say wild ass. It is what it is. You're saying wild, wild ass. Wild ass. <laughs> if you're going to diagnose me with anything, it's wild ass. Like, do you ever feel like the caboose don't match the conductor? <laughs> okay, caboose definitely doesn't match the up. The up top does not match the down top. Have you, Kimberly Clark has like, she's a comedian out here as a friend of ours, has some of the best material about the bottom that that you could ever watch. Like, honestly, shout out Kimberly Clark. Joke's fucking fire. Where was I? I Diagnosable. Let me tell you. Can I say? Yeah. I got an email from a booker. Uh I will not name names. Okay. This booker that I actually love, a woman who's fucking talented and funny. It doesn't matter. She sent me and she was like, hey, we'd like to book you to do a show that is a benefit, like a fundraiser show for a nonprofit that is raising money and they like to book people with disabilities. Okay. And she's, she said, and I was on your website and it said, so she's like, and I'm asking you because I was on your website and I listened to, I researched and I know that you have ADHD which I do, yeah. and <laughs> dyslexia. Which you do. I do not. Yeah, you do. Unfortunately, I you've, don't. You've never been diagnosed, but you, without a doubt, have dyslexia, dude. What on earth do you mean? Whenever you look at words, you're like, all of the letters are scrambled. You can Okay. I have vision issues. That's... You and I both know Wait, you do. Wait, is that n- dyslexia? Am yeah. I describing dyslexia? Yeah, you also don't have vision issues. Well, you I have 20 20, but my eyes don't work when I read. Are you guys getting this? I wish these weren't cameras and these were humans, and I could look into somebody's eyes and be like, this fucking bitch. You are. Okay, I don't claim dyslexia. You don't have to claim and it. I also have not been diagnosed with dyle- dyslexia. Barely, I said it wrong. I know I'm not. Now I'm backing into a corner here. I, But I, however, have not been diagnosed with dyslexia. So you've been diagnosed legally 
legally, religiously <laughs> has ADHD, right. which makes a ton of sense. Yeah. But I'm like, what are you looking at online that says, like, are there articles that says Rachel Scanlon? Dyslexic. Clown dyke with dyslexia? Don't forget Finn? rat. Rat <laughs> and, and rat. Finn. yeah. You can't. That chair. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get into the episode. <sighs> I'm not even going to get to finish my story. Wait, I, no, I'm going to edge no, it for next week. You bitch. Just You're going to love it. Just Diane's are going to come after you. Before we get into the actual episode with our, our guest, our who, amazing but this episode was so fun. We're so grateful that we get to be here. I know. So grateful that we get to talk to these really fucking talented queer people. Really grateful I get to spend time with you because when we drive here, we hook up. In the- don't cut back to her. <laughs> Leah, don't cut back to her. Stay on me. Stay on Papa. Stay on Papi. Um, if you gotta uh, come closer, look at your frame. It's not my fault. There's no one else in here but us. We don't have anyone saying, Ray, you're falling out of frame. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. I want to say that our spring tour dropped a few weeks ago. A lot of cities are selling out. Some of them already sold out. Because I am, I get sad when I open my DMs and people say, Oh my God, I missed it. Yeah. Please hear me. Hear me, queer people. Go get your tickets yeah. now. They will sell out. Yeah. And this is going to be the most fun you've ever had. We have the best fucking live shows of all time. Also, if you are somebody who's been listening to this audio podcast, take a look at the video that we have offered. We got into a place where we have lights on us and Mackenzie shakes. Is this anything? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's something that some people like. <laughs> and guess what? I'm one of them. I just shimmied, but also up top was not looking good. Anyways, while you watch this episode, I will be taking a test to find out if I am legally dyslexic. <laughs> Dude, you are. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. So enjoy this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Enjoy the episode with Zolita. Why did I hit that T so hard? It's Zoe. It's Zolita. Enjoy it. We love you guys. Bye bye. The socks are so interesting My to me. Matching. Oh, okay, so that's very Ray Zoe. Coded. Ray does this all Guys, the time. Guys, I'm like, okay, one <laughs> one sock does say is that say equality? I think it's equinox. Same <laughs> 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 thing. Oh, some might say so the opposite. <laughs> worse. Oh my god, incredible! That, that is so the much opposite worse. of equality. <laughs> it sure is <laughs> equinox. It sure is, and I like that. It's air one. <laughs> it's it's air one. <laughs> One equinox, what one air one. That's what the other talk says. That's, That's so the most funny. LA shit I've ever seen. No, it's so, it's so LA. That rocks. Wait, Zoe, has everyone asked you, or have you talked about this too much? The symbol. Yes, yeah, yeah, the symbol. Um, I, it's four female symbols around two crescent moons. Fuck yeah. And I had never uh, thought I was going to have tattoos. And when I designed this, I was like, that will get tattooed. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I'm that wondering, because we saw yeah. it in all your videos. Yeah. It's always like my brand around. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. It's very around. sexy. Thank you. Holy shit. I'm so glad yeah. you're here. I'm fucking lit up. If you are so only excited. listening to this podcast, I'm smiling ear to ear. <laughs> you are. You're grinning I'm hard. grinning hard because, like, I don't know. I've been looking forward to this all fucking day. I'm so glad that you're here. I've also been chugging your content in a way that, like, I kind of, like, black holed into, like, everything <laughs> that you've ever made. And I, I came it. out yeah. and I was like, okay, I'm gayer than I was before, which is that's the saying goal. something. That is the goal. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just so glad that you're here. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I've been so excited too. I've been oh. a little powwow at the house. Wait, how was fun like, was it to just like, I told my fiance, I was like, I just for like, we recorded an episode with Shannon mm-hmm. and then all four of us were just sitting in a living room, just talking shop. So fun. The tea that was spilled. <laughs> <sighs> Rocked hard. Rachel, you said something that was so awesome it was the cool it was the fucking best (laughs) that rachel got up and had to do a lap around your living room kitchen i victory lapped on your behalf (laughs) because i was like that rocks so hard yeah i went around twice i sometimes i get so i'm like i gotta move this rock so hard i had to move yeah Yeah. you're like an inspiration (laughs) to me so much yeah Yeah. it was an inspirational thing that you did can we discuss it absolutely great okay (laughs) (laughs) so you're going through a breakup I am going through a breakup. Great I shirt. Am. Thank you. It says world's topical. best ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I like to think I'm the best ex-girlfriend. For yeah. why sure. do you think you are? Are you, um, do you stay in I'm contact? Yeah. Okay. 
I stay in contact for sure. That's so fun. I'd like to with all of them. But in like a good way or like a way where it's like, way. hey, stop texting me. Yeah. We're it feels broken like up. the healthiest breakup I've ever been through. Does it really? Yeah. Like, Which is really nice. was it mutual? Yes. Okay, see, that is yeah. very helpful. Mm-hmm. It also is kind of one of those, it's like a breakup with the door open. Cause it's like, oh, like one day. Oh. Yeah, maybe one day. Like, right, just, yeah, feels like right now it's not aligning for both of us to grow. We need to grow as individuals, you know. That's but, very um, mature of you. So it feels good. It's like there's no like, oh, you did this bad thing. You did this bad thing. So right. It's like, okay, we can be in the same room. We can. We also have all the same friends. So, oh, that's tough. Wow. Yeah. Typical so, queer breakup. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So yeah. it's nice to not like make people choose and be like, oh, we're fine. Like, we're okay. Also, we were friends before, too. That so, helps when you have a foundation of you yeah. know what the relationship looks like before you before started we sleeping dating. together. Yeah. So now, like, you have a baseline of like, we have we know what that looks like. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. How often are you talking to your ex, would you say? Um, (laughs) You know what? Let's get him on the horn right now. (laughs) Uh, Well, the first month we were like no contact completely. And I feel like because we did that, now it's like, now we've been talking more. That's, yeah, you didn't just go straight into, there was a time. Yeah, there was a time. But yeah, like maybe like once a week. Great. That's not bad. Not bad. That's I not thought bad. you were going to say like once an hour. Once an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, we, well, you're week? back together with this person. <laughs> Hopefully we run into each other. Yeah. We're on the same. She lives like a mile away from me. Holy, yeah. On that hill. Oh, God. Yeah. Walking. <laughs> we <laughs> almost were like, turn it around. I, we're not going up this fucking hill. I don't know. That's how I used my e-brake. I was yeah, like, okay. this is an incline. <laughs> okay. So, wait, I had a question. How long were you together with this? Two years. It's a long time. And yeah. this is the person that you were in the i would say iconic halloween photos yes oh, oh. wait the carly taylor ones mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah. Well, i was, got in trouble they went, for those f- by who by who um a lot of people like a lot of people were mad because carly's <sighs> married to kushner or whatever yeah yeah so, so? they're pissed about that and saying like why did you dress up as a zionist and then oh I got it and then also mm-hmm. Which I just did not know. Yeah. That. Right. Right. Um, and then people were upset that uh, we were like taking a friend, like sexualizing a friendship, Taylor's friendship. But, like, well, okay. Come for those on. listening, Come for those listening, what, Rachel and I are eye rolling. Travis and Taylor the, before they were confirmed. Right. But, like, yeah. yeah. No, the it's, second well, it's, it's gay, people yes, it are. It is. It's so homophobic. People are just mad. Yeah. Um, they're so stupid. No, that also like. We're, it's a Halloween costume. You have yeah. to look at the context yes. here. Right. This is like, this is silly fun. Mm-hmm. This is not, it's Halloween for fuck's sake. Yeah. Please. And this is where you and I differ. Tell me. Halloween, you have to go in. <laughs> you bitch. No. You stupid yeah. little bitch. I have nowhere to go with this. Yeah, no. Um, the, <laughs> I'm. Here's the thing. I'm like watching everything that you made. I'm looking at your Halloween costumes. I'm falling deeper Wait, and deeper. The One Tree Hill I have uh, to say. Wait, which wait, one? that was the, the ex. The boys. Yeah. The yeah. two One Tree Hill boys. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sessed. Yeah. That was yeah. one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen. <laughs> it's fun. The whole thing is wild. You're you're so winning. Good. You're very good at Halloween. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, Thank you so much. I'm I sorry that Halloween. people gave you hate for that because what sometimes things are, are meant to just be silly and fun. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And completely. I think that like we yeah. need to people forget that a lot of times mm-hmm. and people put a lot of pressure on queer people if you have like a following to or whatever to be time. good all the time like, and like and always be yeah every once in a while like it's okay especially on in this podcast like we are very openly like just trying to make you laugh yeah and like yeah. just let sometimes like queer people just like want to be silly gooses yes. and like yes. let us party and have fun oh, yeah that being said i do think that they fucked each other we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any hoozy. Um, you're a musician. Yes. You're a very talented musician. No, wait. Pause. You didn't bring up what we were talking about in that lesbian frat house. Which oh, is my what God. You wait, live, in, right. a, yeah, you live oh, God, in a gay frat right. house. Mackenzie, yeah, I do. thank God you're here to keep house. me on track. <laughs> yeah. How? Lo- okay. So you're back in the streets. I'm back in the streets. You're single. You're out there. I'm Tell out us there. how it has been back on the dating scene. You know, uh, how has it been back on the dating scene? I'm I like I'm a casual sex person. Yeah, that's great. and I'm like I can definitely do that pretty easily. But um, yeah, but I had I was telling you guys a story <laughs> about a sexual experience I had recently had, and it was a first date. And we 69 on the first date. I this is like the <laughs> shit. This, this is what so made me much. victory lap because I feel like I kind of 
famously have had a 69ing renaissance. You love, <laughs> I love, she loves 69ing. 2024 69ing renaissance. Yeah, I'm fully like 69ing all the time, but I, it kind of checks a lot of boxes for me yeah. in more ways than one, but I like to be smushed as well. So I'm like out oh, there. So you're bottom. Yeah. You're the bottom. Were you yeah, picturing you, me on top? Bo- yeah, okay. Don't I, ever picture me on top. I'm always <laughs> bottom. I'm bottoming at all times. You know what I didn't know, but I'm just saying you confirmed that you are exclusive bottom. Uh, I'm an exclu- I'm only bottoming. Okay. I'm never doing anything other than being smushed by my fiance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't come at me. How And like, how dare you even picture me on top? You ignorant honestly i'm getting you canceled tonight <laughs> cancel mckenzie don't cancel me because i don't assume you're a bottom that's so fucked what up you, mckenzie where are you on top or bottom i if switch you're if you're 69 yeah i have to be on bottom because i'm so much bigger than my partner that's the thing when you're on top you're like oh like am i yeah am i crushing yeah. you am I crushing you no like, I it's kind can't... of hard to relax into it and that's the thing about it Same is that i don't want face. anyone relax i want you to give all the weight Smother. Mother, <laughs> to the point of S O motherfucking S. Like I could die today, <laughs> but I would be so happy. Like I would be so happy to be dead yeah. there. Yeah. I'm nervous. What a way to die. <laughs> I feel like this is the way that the podcast is gonna end. It'll be I me know. coming on one week, being like, "She did die during sex." <laughs> Do I want you love? I know. It would be iconic. It yeah. would be. Yeah. It would like, be so not- sick. Like not dying by crashing to the Chateau Marmont, uh-uh. but like no. dying by being smushed by a butt. Smushed by yeah, my angel. Badge in your face. Um, <laughs> wait. Yeah. Some I had one person. It might have been you. Yeah. Somebody was describing sixty nineing on your sides. Mm-hmm. You would, yeah. And someone he, said that to me recently. I've too. heard it. In was better. it all of Theory. us talking? Yeah, because people yeah. were like talking about how they're like, oh, I get when I'm on top, like I have yeah. to hold my weight, which I'm always like crush it crush me <laughs> break my skull and then i'm like they said there's an option that you of being side. on the side were you bringing this up to me i don't know it feels like we were all talking about we all this talk were about we it. talking about being on the side because i but it n- does feel it feels like you're giving up it feels <laughs> lazy <laughs> does it feel Wait, like it feels so lazy. lazy it feels like si- you're seven years into the marriage and you're like let's just get on our sides <laughs> does it it no. feels lazy like maybe your heart <laughs> Is your heart not in it if you're because here's my issue and I so okay f- fine there is, I haven't tried it before so I don't want to like speak I don't want to if you're into this I don't whatever it does feel like have you guys ever done like Pilates uh-huh. where they make you do these like fire hydrant dog positions Will where they're like us? yeah like, like you, this is what's so nice we don't no I thing. can't yeah do it <laughs> but yes yeah where your leg one, is like right? out I'm oh, like it yeah, has yeah, yeah, to yeah. be. It, or the Jane Fonda. I don't know. The it thigh master. It just feels like you're phoning it in. It feels like we've got 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like lay down quick. on your side. <laughs> yeah. It, that does kind of look I like the two. I an image. Blue is the warmest color. They do that. Oh my they God. are on their sides 69ing. I'm so that, glad. Remember, it's like, fr- it's like scientific. Like, it's like from above that. at the very end. And they're so both well lit. in like... Yeah, it looks like two like little bugs, kind of. Yes, you know what I mean. I'm so glad that unfortunately, you yes, clock yes, I do. and re- and ca- and keep on to the sex scenes from movies, much like Mackenzie does. Mm-hmm. Which oh yeah, I love sex scenes, and I'm always begging for more full frontal. In always almost more full frontal. <laughs> Ken wants in, Beaver. I want Beaver in okay. like Mean Girls. We should have had it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. In almost. <laughs> Every movie. In the new Mean Girls? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, and, and honestly, yes. also the original <laughs> yeah. as well. Also the original. Yeah. I'm begging for more full frontal. Okay. Yeah. I think we yeah. need it in film, in television, yeah, and in pop. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is actually yeah. why we brought you here today. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm just also just so, I'm so glad that there's people out there like on the first sexual encounter, 69ing, and yeah. that puts you in a really high Tech esteemed bracket. category within two dykes and our hearts so thank god we appreciate wow. it so what does a first date look like for you like what is I'm it like dating right now okay so you're just I'm having just encounters having, yes mm-hmm. i feel very like emotionally unavailable for sure so but yeah first date right now it's like drinks and a fuck yes you know what i mean you it feels like you're about to do another lap i am I, like i <laughs> That feels like Rachel would get up and do three laps around Spotify. I would. Here's yeah. my real question. I feel like the queer community has a reputation for having, or how many times have we heard mm-hmm. a, a queer person getting out of a breakup and they're like, I'm about to be in my slut era and then they're engaged. They get into another. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's not me. It, do you think it's hard me. when you are yeah. on the apps or meeting people or I'm not sure how you meet people being famous, yeah. but they do people typically fall in love with you and you have to pump the brakes? 
Because I'm finding myself doing it right now. That's it. Oh. <laughs> so how do you, what do you do? I think I'm just really, really clear up front. And then yeah. if like somebody is going to fall, then it's like, well, it's kind of on, on you. you. Yeah. Um, but also if I could like feel that vibe happening, then I probably would. Pull away. Pull away too. But um, but yeah, I guess I don't really know. It's been so short amount of time <laughs> now, but in my three years of, I was single for three years between my last relationship um, so yeah, I'm definitely not a move. I do not jump into relationships very fast wow. because I feel like after getting out of like a monogamous relationship, I'm like, woo, time to, Ex- yeah, to, you know, yeah. run around. So why would I get back into another monogamous relationship that fast if it's not like the best person ever and like the person that's going to like change my life, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. How have you been meeting people? Are you on the apps? Um, I, I signed back up for Raya, but I think I'll probably cancel it again. It's not good. They it's show you, good. they probably show you like two people from LA a day and then, yeah, the rest and then it's is, like London, like, all New York, around the world, like yeah. Dubai. Like I don't like, I'm not planning on going there anytime Listen, soon. We love as queer women, long distance. Yeah. <laughs> so you never yeah, know. You're so, you never if you know. If you need a PJ to go to a first date, you're a lesbian. It's too, <laughs> <laughs> it's too far. I don't know. Is it too far? I guess for you and what you're looking for, it I've is. I've done it before, but yeah, but right now, no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. But Instagram, I feel like, is the way that I'm meeting people. Nice. Instagram, through other people, um, TikTok. Ooh. Good place. I, just I, going have out, friends, I do have friends that meet on TikTok, out. which is wild. I also, I never. Yes, dear. <laughs> soft it's so soft it like, reminds me of human skin it reminds me of it reminds, me of, say it reminds you of, oh it kind of does it though. feels like it does feel like human skin yeah. i want to feel yeah, yeah get a touch to come get oh, some yeah yeah that's soft that's buttery yeah. that's buttery, <laughs> buttery that's elite buttery. <laughs> i hate where this is okay going. wait 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 i've heard people before like a lot of young queer people are meeting each other through inst- like social media apps mm-hmm. more so mm-hmm. than i feel like dating apps right now yes is yes. the move are you on your Discover page and you're seeing hotties and you're sliding in DMs? Or is it like Muchies? I think it's Mutuals. Okay. And yeah. are you sliding yeah. or are they sliding? I think it's a mix. Hot. Interesting. So yeah. are you going to request folder and making sure nobody's come in? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> For sure. But you know what? I get a lot of requests and it's people that are private. And I'm like, well, I, I don't know what you look like. Hi. Like, send me a pic. Yeah, like, give, me something. Something. give me something. No, literally give me something. Yeah. Okay, I have yeah. to know. Because you're, you're like, you're... Sleeping with people on the first date, uh huh, hot. Which sixty nine and don't and don't forget it. We will not forget. do not don't get it twisted. It. <laughs> it's the coolest thing of all time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are you having good sex on first dates? Because that is something that happens yes. in the queer. Tell us everything. <gasps> that's a great. Like question. I am. I don't know. I I feel like if you are communicative, you probably will have a good experience. Yeah. I don't know. Not all the time, obviously, but I've been pretty lucky so far. That, that's great. But I feel like I'm super communicative on like what I what you're looking want. for. Yeah. Well, especially if like you're at a place right now where what you're trying to do is get Mama's rocks off. <laughs> if I may, if you I may. may, you may, if I may, if you're out there, like specifically, this is about like a drink and a fuck. We're having fun. Yes. Yeah. If yeah. the sex yeah. is bad, then like we're kind of missing yeah, the whole the, point. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also fun. I feel like. Every person you sleep with, you like learn something new about yourself. Yes. Yeah. I, I know some not bad everybody's stuff. Like, likes that, but um, you know how like yeah. Ariel, the Little Mermaid. Yes. She kind of like goes up to the top and then she grabs shit and she's like, "Look at this, it's a thingamabob." I feel yeah. like that can be sexual encounters. Yes. And then you're like, "Look at this treasure trove, <laughs> full of random bits and bobs." And you're yeah. like, "This yeah. is what I have collected throughout the years, and I want to show you." That's a beautiful no, that's metaphor. So true. What wow. do you think you would be if somebody was like looking around the ocean floor and they grabbed something and they were like, "Like, what do you think?" I learned this I, from you. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. people who have had sex with me, what they would in part mm-hmm. is like much more. I think they would be like, "Wow, this this person likes to listen a lot and and maybe like it's a, a, like a dumbbell." Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, I like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or I think at least a profound sense of like. I feel like the people who have sex with me, they leave and they're like, that person was really wanted to have sex with me. Like, that's I think I'm a really nice. enthusiastic lover. That's so nice. I think that might be one of the best oh, qualities. Yeah. yeah. It's Thank like so God. fun when yeah. somebody's like, it's I want to be like, here. wants to be there. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. this sense is like, people will be like, that person wanted to devour me. And oh, that's the truth. I love that. That's beautiful. I think that's my my mark on the world. What's yours? That's what do you think people take mark? away? Um, well, somebody that I recently slept with said to me, when she said that I was a freak, I was yes. like, what are you talking about? 
uh, say more, more please. Say more. Say more, please. <laughs> She was like, you're just really uninhibited with your body and like shameless. And it makes me want to be the same way. That's like, inspiring. That is such a nice compliment. And so I that's feel like that's also so hot. Yeah. So I feel like that's probably what I impart on people. It's like, why are you? No shame. Like, yes. Just ask for what you want and be who you want in bed. And this yeah. is why you're having good sex on night one. Yeah. 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 That's like, I think, so. I think it's, it's really, people forget. I think a lot of times like people think so much about their selves Mm -hmm. during sexual encounters specifically first sexual encounters and i get it like you can be really wrapped up in your own thing yeah or sometimes honestly too you'll have sex with people that maybe haven't had a lot of queer sex before Mm -hmm. and they only think about you and i'm like you have to i like the idea of like you can have so much selfish fun with your own body that it also turns into somebody else being inspired to be like oh i want to be as free as you are Mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm. there's like there's like fun there's fun things happening yeah you know what i'm saying what do you think people take away from you they're like i had sex with mackenzie goodwin and all i got Mm. was this sticker (laughs) you know what's funny is i think it would be that they're like i had sex with mackenzie and she wouldn't stop playing rihanna yes (laughs) she wouldn't stop playing desperado yeah is that is that your it was always a Yeah, I would go to, like, Rihanna, and recently, this is, like, a joke, but, like, my wife was, like, you need to stop playing that. She was, like, turn this off. And I was, like, got it. Yeah, I'm not, like, 22 anymore. I'm not in college playing Rihanna. It is interesting. Sex kind of gets a little different as you age because I think, like, Mm -hmm. sometimes, like, sex doesn't have to be, like, oh, I got good at it this one time and this is what I do. Like, Mm -hmm. you can just go through phases of things and Uh change what you like, whatever. Mackenzie's playlist has not aged since the year 2009. Yeah. (laughs) So the playlist is bad. The playlist is, like, pony. Jeremiah. (laughs) Yeah, it's... (laughs) <laughs> pony dude no. you putting pony on is so funny do you like music when you have sex i really do but i'm always stressed about like choosing the right music for the right person because i feel like it's, people like are turned on by different kinds of music like a lot of people that i've slept with i feel like don't like the typical like sexy like yeah. yeah they're on to like the glee soundtrack yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay that's me. oh you're like play muna what now. is okay the worst song that ever came on for me because this happens right like yeah, this, yeah. when it's on shuffle um, someone was going down on me, and I will always love you. Came on. <gasps> Wait, Whitney or Dolly? Uh, Whitney. Oh, yeah. Honest? Just imagine that. What did you do? What a big deal. What a stop. bill. I yeah, I was like, guys. I'm so sorry, but and she was like, "Thank God, like, mm-hmm. yeah, you need to change." I tried to fuck to King <laughs> I love Princess. Being like, thank God. <laughs> thank I was God. also down here thinking it. <laughs> You've tried to fuck. I tried to funk to funk. funk. <laughs> I'm stop. Sick. No, 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 no! Don't funk with my heart. <laughs> That deserved a laugh. <laughs> I'm out here funking. Are you? F- are you funking? You guys, me? nothing, nothing made everything that I said before delete faster. Like you guys know now that I've like only Never. had sex once, and it was like under his eye, fucking in a church. Oh my god, it's giving virgin. <laughs> it's giving virgin big time. Like you- my treasure trove got deleted. <laughs> I'm out here funking my fiance. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Now we know you're oh, lying about a 69 no, Renaissance. Truly. <laughs> oh my god. The 69ing is we read 69 pages before bed. <laughs> before <laughs> about the Italian Renaissance. Wow. Fuck. Okay. Anyway. Maybe you fucked a king princess. Thank you for listening. You're wow. a great listener, <laughs> great podcaster. Okay. I'm actually gonna leave. I tried. You know, every once in a while you want to have sex where you're like, I was trying to do a thing. Like mm-hmm. I set up a fake, um, like a fake massage board i don't have a massage board but i was trying to do a thing where we were like role playing playing? yeah where it's like you don't know me and i'm like getting a massage and then it goes like and you know how it it goes absolutely crazy and i and i like to do this thing sometimes so i get fucked (laughs) i like to do this thing sometimes where i'm like oh my god like i don't even know what i'm doing very fun this is really personal anyways welcome (laughs) to the show i'm i tried to put on king princess and which song Oh, oh, shuffled, just shuffled, shuffled KP. Yeah, and Get the back, no. the whole that's thing. A great okay, one. Yeah. sometimes but sex then music. Some. No, no, because that's the thing. By the time, like, cheap queen plays, you know, fucking. <laughs> Pussy is God plays. You you get to the fourth sex song by a queer like by this queer artist. My fiance was literally like, 
this is too on the nose. Like, it's too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't, it gets to a point where you'd much. have to, like, yeah. it can't just be one artist. Like, no. you can't just you can't do Rihanna. Sex playlist. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah. I mean, do, I can't with sex playlists. I did something recently. I went around a room and I had everybody add their sexiest song to it. And so I haven't done it. I haven't used it yet. But now I'm like, I'm going to be surprised. Wait, that's very fun. cool. Yeah. That's so nice to have friends curate your sex yes. playlist. And I'm, I'm going to be thinking, like, who added this one? See, then Oof. I would be two in my head. That's also, yeah. That's and I don't want to think about my friends while I'm getting <laughs> And I <absolute>. do. What? <laughs> All I do is think about whether I want to or not. I see somebody and I think to myself, I wonder what the fuck they're up to. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You're having sex and you're wondering what your friend oh, is during up to. during sex? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't stand you. All right. Sorry. Um, wait, can we talk about some of your music? Yes. Okay. So basically, so yeah, Bloodstream is a song and music video, but basically the music video is like a super cut of a, ser a larger series. So. Oh, shit. People will watch the video and then be happy to know that there are basically like episodes of all of the scenes extended oh. uh, coming out in like the following month oh my god yeah. this is fucking huge gay news so Zoe, fun. huge gay news <laughs> the shit that you make we is like it's not just that the music gets stuck in your head and you're like this fucking slaps which it does by the way Thank woke you. up the other day with one of your songs stuck in my head and i was like how the fuck did i dream about this <laughs> right because like music is already like such a specific thing like when you good music is like magic. There's yeah. nothing. There is nothing like good music. Yeah. So to be able to make that is already something that is so special. But the way that you storytell through your music videos like makes me feel like so hyped to be queer mm -hmm. and so connected to you. And I'm like, we've only met a couple of times, but like yeah. I feel like, but it's not even I'm connected to you, but I'm connected to all of us. Yes. Every yes. queer person knows exactly the stories that you're telling, and yeah. it is. It's the shit that just, like, I love so much about being gay, and you portray that so in a really fun way as well. Like, your music videos are, like, they fucking are fun. so fun. Thank you. It feels like they're bringing us back to when we were younger, too. Yeah. And that's yes, also, like, yes. what you're putting in there, like, the Coyote Ugly references, Completely. the different queer references. The yes. Yeah. yeah, but actually, like, sending them all the way, like, having them be fully queer rather than just, like, queer-coded. Exactly. Yes. Right yeah. It is like validating. Yes. And it's fun. It's playful and it, the music is so good. And I'm like, I love the way that you cast. Like, I feel like you're Thank very, you. like, you're thoughtful with the, what you're doing. Like, everything feels thoughtful. Definitely. And I'm Definitely. like, how much, like, this feels very, like, you're in control of every choice. About everything. Yeah. So I, yeah, I direct, produce, write, edit. Jesus. <laughs> Star in. <laughs> I do all I do all the things. Um, I'm inspired. Yeah, and the ca casting like so fun for me. This last one, Bloodstream, was so fun to cast because it's such a. I mean, it's a pageant, so it's like, okay, I can cast like a ton of girls. Incredible yep. this one, and just like, and uh, there's a lot of comedians in it, which is fun. I think it's the funniest video I've done. Um, <sighs> yeah, super super fun. Also, the the lyrics that you're using are exactly what it feels like. Yeah, like right? that <laughs> to want to be that close with somebody. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, do straight people? That you're like, I want to be in your skin. Literally inside yeah. of you. Yeah. yeah. I want to yeah. be one person one with person. you. Let's melt together. Truly. Oh yeah. Ca completely captured yeah. in a oh, yeah. like spectacular way. Thank this you. this new song, this video just recently came out, so everyone's already yes seen it, gone in. But like, how did you get the idea then to? Okay, because people love it, so you need to give them more, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, to do to make a series. Yeah. Basically, I looked at, like, so somebody I fucked once, I ended up turning that into a trilogy when everybody, like, fell in love with those characters. Yeah. Um, I was like, okay, I'm going to make, like, a little mini, basically, like, TV show through music videos. Um, and then with this one, I was like, okay, how do I do that but gear it towards, like, towards vertical? And also, how do I trick people into watching, basically, a 15-minute short film by, you know, yes. doing, like, part one, part yeah. two, part wow. three. So. You know, when people see like there's like a whole lifetime movie like uploaded on um, TikTok, and all of a sudden you're watching an entire lifetime movie because right. it's like, oh, it's just one part. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, now I'm part two. Like, oh no, now I'm watching the whole entire thing. Exactly. Um. So basically, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to trick people into watching a whole like What's a longer. Crazy? You don't piece of need content. to trick anybody. <laughs> like this is the content that queer people want. Yeah. Like yeah, they're for begging sure. for more content like this from yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. It's so unbelievably good. Yeah. Thank you. Your branding across the board, stunning. I think I also just, like, I know that feature – so I went to film school, and, like, feature film has always been the the goal. Um, 
but yeah, I think that I'm kind of moving towards even with the, with the videos becoming like longer and longer and like more dialogue and more narrative. I think that's kind of where I'm gonna end up at some point. Fucking that's so yeah. fucking cool. We need more queer women filmmakers. Yes, period. Yes, we're begging, and just like more queer people like on set behind the camera. Yeah, you know? that's yeah. the thing that has been always so like magic about my set experiences and i think why the videos like have that that magic in them is like almost my whole entire uh crew is queer yes which is so awesome because everybody's putting everybody like cares about the projects or like i'm telling my story too and everybody's putting their own you know and i'm sure they're like this is part of my story also yes yeah well you can feel it the whole it's like Yeah. yeah it's always interesting too you can like, we as queer consumers of content, mm-hmm. you can always tell. I mean, you could tell everything. But, yeah. like, you can tell when there's something that is, like, there's a queer story being told. And you're like, this is for straight people mm-hmm. to get to look at the queer experience. But it's made f- to be consumed by the straight population. Yes. But we can always tell when it's, like, you're looking at something and you're like, this was made for me. Yes. And, yeah. like, it's not most things. Yes. So when y- we get that... We get to feel, yeah, that touch of like, thank God, like yes. fucking, thank God it's not another male director <laughs> directing <laughs> exactly. two women fucking. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. You can just tell, yeah. yeah, where it's like one is an Oscar grab yep. and then one is an actual like queer person telling a queer story. Yep. Yeah. You can tell the difference so clearly with uh, like male directed uh, yeah. like sex scenes and female directed, like so different. Oh my God, the there's spit. A, wait, <laughs> it's, it's spit, but also we were what? Well, we've watched, we review movies on this show as well sometimes, yeah. and we have seen some, like, insane, you ever, like, watching queer sex scenes, and then Mackenzie and I go home, and we're like, huh? <laughs> there was one with an octopus, That's where I one. remember what? being like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Wait, yeah. which movie is this? I mean, it was, like, two, it was two women's name. It was, like, something and something, and it was, like, black and white, and... In a different language, I believe. Yeah. And uh-huh. then at some point in their sex scene, they bring an octopus into it. Yeah. Which I was, like... No. That to me is a male <laughs> being like yeah. we have to see some type of phallicness yeah, in yeah, in yeah, this. Yeah. Totally. It was so fucked up. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. Anyways, um, your fucking music rocks. I know. And uh, it's so fun. Like, what are your what are some of your influences? Would you say in your art? Uh, Lady Gaga is like number one just w- for the music videos. We were just talking <clears throat> about this recently. I'm Where always putting my paw- my paws up, my claws always. always. Paws yeah, up. claws all up the all the time. <laughs> well, you go and I don't mean this to be crude. You go balls to the wall in your music videos. Yeah. Like you're yeah. in the back of jeeps. <laughs> you're in <laughs> swinging your fucking hair around. You're at a ten. I you're at a ten. Life more at rest. Which is what we. I feel like this is what we need never, in pop. Like, people. There's never like it's so low oh, budget. Shit. No, it's like, you. We're, do- we're doing things like not the right way. <laughs> Hell yeah! And I love that about yeah, you. Thank you. I love that you are always <laughs> taking it to a ten, and like that's what I feel like we are missing in pop right now. Is yeah. everyone's kind of like coming in at a five? Oh my god! And you are in literally thank the coolest you, costumes <laughs> yeah. of all time, really giving it to us. Thank you so much. I think the Coyote Ugly one, like that, yeah. really hit home with me. The Crazy X. Yeah, Crazy X video. I was like. Oh, this person is like hysterical. Yeah, we were like, "Oh, we're gonna fucking love you." Yeah. We have the same sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same That's references. Happy. I know. Yeah, yes, yes. I was trying to count all of them, and I'm like, "Oh my god, we've all like seen all the same shit." This mm-hmm, rocks. Mm-hmm. I know. Is there like a, a movie or an actor or pop star that when you like you remember them being your first like big awakening? Yeah. Um, I think it was Avril, but I didn't know because I was so little. But I think it definitely was. I yeah. When I look back now, I'm that. like Avril. Incredible. Yeah. Um, which is, I was actually like five feet away from her the other day, and I was dying. What, the other recently? Re- so recently. Okay, what? where? Um, at the Equinox. Millennium concert. Equinox. <laughs> of course. Wait, the Millennium Al- concert. Millennium, like the DJ. Uh, my sister's boyfriend was. We're not cool enough so like to know this. Backstage, and then was five feet away from Avril, and I was like, I can't. Oh my god. Uh, like, Did you play it cool? I played it so cool. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I think there'll be another chance to like actually yeah. chat with her. But in that moment, I was like, I'm just. She was about to go on too, and I was like, I can't. Oh my god. But yeah, but her. Was she, is she? Are you taller than her? Yes. Incredible. Definitely. I was gonna say Avril is miniature. Yeah, but so, so are you. Small. You're really tiny. Um, yeah, I am kind of tiny. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. My my whole family. My tall. brother's yeah. six foot eight. My Sister's 5'10". I'm the shorty of the family. I don't know what happened. Are there any queer people besides you and your family? I would say that I feel like both my siblings could be a little 
no. <laughs> I'm like that. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> you for, for sure. No. Uh, no. Actually, no. I'm like, you know, like everyone's a little fruity. Yeah. Um, but no, I think they're both open-minded people, but I don't see them. Yeah. Like, There's also the like, answer. weirdly, I feel like there are people that <laughs> will have like... queer sex that are not like living their life in the, in like yeah. queer spaces. Yeah. You know so what I mean? many yes. of my friends growing up that they would like casually be like, oh yeah, I fucked a bunch of women. Mm -hmm. yeah. And th but then I'm like, yeah. you are the straightest person I've ever met in my life. Though. Yeah. Yeah. But straight people yeah. love like fucking gay people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's... <laughs> Something so true that I feel like we <laughs> all know immediately going yeah. yeah we all know okay but we all know in the community like we've all had sex with straight people and then they're, they they love straight it then aren't they like a little bit bi I in my or opinion at least bi, or at least like sexually a little fluid for They've sure sexually be, yeah. fluid yeah. but I'm like I feel like I've never fucked a straight person oh. A man. Oh. I forgot a man. Oh yeah, but you never had sex with a straight. I've never had sex woman? with a woman who I was like, that's a straight person. I, you know how there's a word gold star for like mm -hmm. a lesbian who hasn't had sex with a man. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we should have a word for what you just described, which I is haven't had sex with a straight girl. Yeah, that's got to be. So, I feel like that's the real gold star. You what know what I mean? Star should that be? If maybe a pink star. Pink, pink star, star. Yeah. Yeah. That's hot. A rainbow I star, maybe. So. Yeah. Have you ever had sex with a straight girl? Yes, but I feel like I I'm like okay, well then you're a little fluid, like you're yeah. not totally straight. I think like, also if you met my one friend, of... I you you guys would be like that bitch is straight. <laughs> there is now I think also like it's probably different than the time that I was like mm -hmm. like yeah. girls used to be less or I don't I guess you're it's talking just about like the eighties. I'm talking about the early early sixties. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the eighteen hundreds <laughs> over here, but like now there is more like um yeah I don't know there you remember I feel like there was a phase where like lesbians were so toxically. Mm -hmm. into turning straight women yeah. in a way that is so that. gross it's so disgusting or like this this whole like fucking puff up your chest like i don't know you guys all I know what i'm talking it. about yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. there's like, to it's me giving it's giving something about you yeah, yeah there's yeah, nothing yeah. that yeah it, it is definitely like you're working through something and I'm also whenever that happens, I'm like, you're, it feels like you're bragging that you you never come. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. So well, true. that's why I was like, I'm shocked that you're out here date one, yeah, having good sex because that to me I feel like is a not a ghost story, but like it's it's something you that don't hear it often. Really, almost everyone that we've had on the pod yeah. is like, it's date three and on is that you start having having good better yes. having. Interesting. Like it takes yeah, multiple no. times for people to let their guard down. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that's no, but true. that's, that's why like, you're out there inspiring people. Yeah, like choosing the right people too. Yeah, I don't know. I think our listeners need to go in like you're going into experiences and just be like, yes. I have no shame. No shame. This is what I want. Yeah, and what we're do here you to have want? fun. Yeah. yeah, and be communicative. Yeah, be, yeah. I think the nice thing, or at least like in my experiences, I feel like a lot of the times, sex with women, like. Both people are going into it expecting not to come. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Which That's is what kind we of, hear all the time. Yeah. So, but which is kind of nice because the pressure is, it's it's almost like, oh, you're going into this because you want to have a fun experience. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. It's, it's. If that's not then the only destination. Yeah, exactly. Let's have fun along the way. And then it, I feel like it, it ends it's in a massage train. to happen probably. If yes. you're like, if the pressure is not on to, yeah. you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can always tell when somebody wants me to come and then my body will shut Won't. down. Yes. My fully, body will fully. be like, pfft. Can good I luck. Happening? Good luck, you little witch. <laughs> Wait, typically, they're can typically I ask, a witch. Can I ask, what yeah. is it that makes you be like, oh, I know that they want me to come now? Um, I feel like, well, here's the other thing, too, because then if they tell me to, then I will, unfortunately. It's like a weird game. If they tell if they you? Say comfort, like, comfort yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I'm like, oops, okay. <laughs> I'll be like, no, you are a witch. <laughs> okay, you fucking, but I don't know. I think I can tell. I'm trying to think because it's been so long since I have had sex with somebody that's not my literal yeah. fiance. But I think you can tell more in an energy, mm -hmm. not in like a particular thing that they're doing. But yeah. I feel like it's an energy of like, mm, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking no, about? I, I'm. Um, can you feel, nervously that... laughing because I'm remembering what people do you used have to do? What did they used to do? It would be either a certain look that they would give you. Stop. Which an is SOS. Like... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait. They're, look, they're sweating. They're pointing at their jaw like, ah. No, I think it was, it was less of that and no. more of a look that was like, yeah. 
Which oh, wait. I, wait a second. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the look that somebody gives when they think they're crushing yes. it. Oh. Which that is so cringy no, it's to so me. Cringy. It's, it's bad. So it's bad. That to so me. So that flooded back. That's worse than hell, <laughs> I think. I'd rather never fuck again than be with somebody who is literally I'm like. Thinking that they're really crushed. Oh, no, no. <laughs> hey. I like this. <laughs> you're, yeah. well, you're welcome. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It sucks so much. No, Especially no, no. when you're like, hey, that's my um, knee. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ah, you're that's not even so close. fun. I wish someone telling me like to come for them would work for me, but that that I think that's the opposite for me. I'm like, oh no, like I'm taking too long. Oh, interesting. Like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You in know. your head about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, they have. You know, if they don't actually know where they're at in the sex in the experience. Journey. Yeah. The journey, if you it will. It has to be right at the precipice. If it's not yeah. right at the precipice, it's way early. <laughs> Wait, it's Imagine. Ten in. Wait a second. Like, it's it's ten, ten seconds in. in. They go, you were going to come for me right now. And you're like, <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, I am fam- famously a Tammy Two comes, though. So I'm always like, I'm usually you basically are at that there. Ten Before we even have sex, I'm like, I've been thinking oh, about so this nice. for so long already. You built it up in your head. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm you're like, ready. I try to like think of sexual encounters as like, it's not just when you're starting to like do physical stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, it's the whole thing. It's the day. Whole day. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, I also am a big on like, I like to, I'll produce, a, I mean, not always. Obviously, there's like a lot of different sexual encounters that we have as like grown up people. Yeah. But every once in a while, I really like to like make a whole thing mm-hmm. like i'm producing a music video yes, you know what i mean i'm what? the director now you have extras but i there. really like when people put that's why i like to get into different like things scenarios toys kinky things because i really like the care that goes into and i'm yes, like you yes. thought of all of this to fuck me yeah yeah, yeah. like you you that's cute put that i'm a cancer sign yeah, so i'm like yeah. look how much you care about me that you yeah. learned how to tie this rope <laughs> marry me yeah and you will and i will so is that's that how you would, how you keep the spice alive as both as people both in like long term relationships? Give me some. I mean, tips. I don't know if you need them. Yeah, you sound like I'm very black. sexually healthy. Yeah, like in the sense of if I get if I'm to be in a long term relationship again. Okay. God. Though this is what I think, and yeah. I feel like I have been saying this is like a theme I've been saying for the past because I recently got engaged. I never I never thought I'd be somebody who wanted to be yeah. married, and I had decided in my head what I thought long-term relationships looked like and that didn't look like something that was appealing to me Mm -hmm. and then I fell into this thing that has been years long and I think what it is is like sex with this person that I've been with is instead of finding good sex and repeating it over and over again we have both been able to like sink our teeth into new things Mm -hmm. together Mm -hmm. as a team so I feel like sex is more of like a creative thing that we get to like go escape to together where like we do have all of the things of partnership that is not sexy yeah. i take out the trash we meal prep together we do all the things that like are are not hot mm-hmm. but our sex life is that oasis of this thing that we've protected together that we get to go dive into mm-hmm. c- together that is yeah. completely separate from and that's why i like when it's so different or like encompassing or I almost can't breathe because yeah. I'm like good get me away from all these fucking chores and like yeah. all these emails that we do all the time and all of the shit that's going on all the wedding planning let's go to that place where we have like so much fun that we forget where we are and yeah. like that that's beautiful. it's recess yes and then you have to go back to the other shit but like yeah you but get this, like moments with your partner it's important too because I think like and that's what you get to capture like a lot of times too like I think when we were having more of our casual sex we were younger yeah. don't say we like we were having casual sex. Wait a second. Because you did do this. Sorry, did I do like yeah, yeah. Yeah. When we were having... <laughs> when we used I, to funk. <laughs> when we were in a funk band Stop. in the early 90s. No. Stop it. But like, you know, when both of us were single separately, yes. we yeah. were having younger. Sex separately. Having sex, not together. <laughs> it was like when we were younger mm-hmm. in our like... Like, I think when you get older, you do get more comfortable. Like, everyone knows that. But yes. it's tr- yes. it's really so true, true to know yourself more Mm -hmm. opens you up more in like a sexual setting a lot of times too so like I think yeah like growing now it's like that's those moments that you have with newer partners Mm -hmm. like took some of us longer to get there because we were too in our heads to focus on the other person or whatever but like it's the exact same those moments that you get to have 
are the exact same that happen in a long term relationship. Mm-hmm. And that's what I didn't mm-hmm. know. I thought to have those moments better you have to be with a new with person. New. I yeah. thought it was yeah. like, oh, it's the person is new. And it's yeah. like, no, 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 you can be new within your relationship yeah. for as long as you get to keep your creativity. Yeah. So then that just I think that's over. what it is, is creativity and bringing like I, I talked about this with you recently about being malleable with your partner mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. growing with them and changing with them constantly. Yes. I think that's what you have to do. Yeah. yeah. If you don't, yeah. then the relationship fails. Oh my God. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. same in the bedroom. Yeah. But you know, yeah. it's, we always, and we talk about this too, but through the, like we, I see long-term monogamous relationships almost exclusively through heterosexuality, which is the story of. Yeah. The man wants to have it, and then the woman is like, no, not tonight, honey. Or it's the same shit over. They're always like, you get married, and then your sex life ends. But I'm like, I you have to just remember that it's like, your queer relationship is not an exact copy-paste of like what is sold to you. Yes, yes, it's like actually absolutely. completely different. Yeah, and that's what's fun about it. Exactly. You make it up oh as my we God. go. I'm so excited to hear more of your dating stories. Really? This is We have to have you back on oh, as you that. continue to date. I, I will have so many more stories, I'm sure. <sighs> I'm so excited. I've got to ask a date tonight. I've got to ask a date tonight. I've got to know. Okay, so this was sent to us by a listener. And if anybody has a voicemail that they want to send us, you can call the Dyke hotline. That number is in the description. Here we go. Hey, Dykes. Uh, this is Becca. Any pronouns? I was just, I just had a quick question. Obviously, love you all got to get that out there that's like a preliminary of this um but uh i have been asked a dyke for you all i'm just wondering so to preface i haven't been in a relationship for a while but i haven't had sex in like two and a half years and i'm nervous that what if i've gotten fucking bad at it now because i haven't and like you know i obviously you know next time i have sex with someone i want it to be good Right. But I just am scared that I've gotten bad. Like, and is there anything specific I can do about that? Any, any classic literature that I should read or anything of the ilk? I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. And now I'm spiraling. Uh, thank you so much. Love y'all. Obviously. Go wow. be gay. Love you. Obviously back. Is Becca, there... all pronouns rise up. <laughs> is there Becca, any literature? That... Any literature. <laughs> Don't get the lesbian sex book. <laughs> oh my god, that's. Wow. Do you ever feel that way? Where like you're worried yeah, you'll get rusty? For sure, and that's why I had sex a week after. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have to rip the bandaid right off. Yeah, uh, but no, but no, I've definitely had like long dry spells before, and uh, yeah, I think you just have to know that it's like riding a bike. It's gonna come back like so. Like once you're in it, you're so present usually, and it's so like, I don't know. Also, women are usually pretty. Um, gracious and like extremely think, yeah mm-hmm. extremely yeah that's so they're funny not gonna be like you're bad at this like they're probably pretty stoked to be with you yes so just go into it thinking like they're stoked to be sleeping with you in that moment and there's nothing you could do that's like bad right yeah I you mean, don't I guess forget there are <laughs> okay you wait. don't you know what, you know what i'm saying though you know what i'm saying like, yeah yeah <clears throat> i think that's yeah i think that's what i what do I you have any dry spells mm-hmm. ken well, it's funny that you said like dry because I go in like I have a partner who we've been together for years now and there'll be days like I'll go one day without having sex and I'll go in there and be like, well, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> no. off. Mackenzie's like, and I'll be like, I don't remember where I, what I'm supposed to be yeah. doing here. When you think about it too hard, it kind of gets freaky. You're That's like, oh what my ha- God. Yeah. Uh, like, what are we even, what's happening? <laughs> Wait, can we talk about the ABCs actually real quick? Wait, you mean, are you talking about the sex technique? That yes. Have you ever heard of this? People say that's like. Yeah. You have to spell or do the that's alphabet. So, that's, that's wrong, right? Yeah. It that's is insane. So wrong. That's so wrong. But I was telling Rachel recently, I had somebody do that to me. No. I can't even fathom that as something that you've experienced. That's somebody who's only ever seen like the 40 year old virgin movies or nip tuck i remember nip tuck they said it and me watching it as a kid being like okay i guess that's what we do that's what we do what? but i remember f- being able to feel because you can tell the difference people are when somebody's doing the alphabet yeah 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 you that's... had some i can't believe somebody did that to you somebody gave what me the did alphabet you do? 
you have to what am I gonna do what letter did you, they get to they went through the whole alphabet <laughs> oh the whole one yeah they have got you to never z- had somebody they, just, they ever. gotta stay on one letter and then maybe it'll work yeah That's what I'm saying you know one letter the zero the motion yeah the z- yeah the zero <laughs> an I I L-O-L. think an I over and over dotting it every yeah. time I'm halfway there no <laughs> maybe a Z a Z, Z might be good or an yeah. S or a an figure S. eight figure okay you guys eight, imagine yeah. a, an uppercase T no no um, once again no. it's giving funk music over here. <laughs> 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 I okay, think yeah. that might be one of the worst here's <laughs> anything with a dot where you're I like dotting. a dot here I am no. liking a dot <laughs> no you can't tell me no you're what getting... I like is a dot <laughs> or someone using an ink pen stop <laughs> not even <laughs> no painting the letters D- I'll do cursive I prefer cursive it has to be cursive because you're not leaving the paper no you leave can't. and come back I want to be like confused I want you to be there and then I'm like whoa <laughs> <laughs> I'm a confusing love maker, and I always have been. This is my biggest red flag. Of Whenever what? somebody says, when somebody tries to give technical sex advice, I think to myself, I'm out. You've never been with more than one person in your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you're just an asshole. Well, I think if somebody is like giving <laughs> you tech, like they're pull- pulling down a whiteboard, yeah. like this is where you need to be. Yeah, I think that's if you're p- pausing like the entire moment. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. that. No, no, no. I think yeah. there's a gentle Agreed. way to do it. Yeah, sure, sure. I don't. Have you had anyone try to do the alphabet? I feel like no. I've, I've never encountered that. No, I great. Really, yeah. Just me. <laughs> No. Awesome. No, good. Wait, this episode good. is us having horrible sex. Honestly, it's giving and then, Shannon. Sorry, <laughs> but it's giving Shannon. <laughs> have you ever had it like somebody? It's like 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 a kitten. Like it's so light that you're like, what's happening? Like, I've had, like, I've actually had, had the way opposite. Too hard too. Yeah, yeah, that too. And that is actually when I'm also like, oh, they just want it to happen. Like they're they too want hard. me to come. Yeah, when they're going, going like, way so too hard, go right so fast. Like, ah, <laughs> where are we? That's what yeah. I keep. I've had people now. I've had friends of mine now be back on the dating scene, like post pandemic. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of people that like haven't had sex with women they're like newer to the queer community Mm -hmm. and they're like oh everyone is so timid like it's there's these like long build-ups there's all this stuff and I'm like my experience has never been that way with people that I've never been with women before Mm -hmm. which is why I like I stand bisexual so much and I stand like people questioning or people that are like new and I'm like go in there and go buck wild I've always been like just trying to hold on for dear life when I'm with these people I'm like, buckle up, but don't do the alphabet. Don't. Do Nobody's the doing that. Please. No. I'd love to know That's, who did that for you. There's no way of knowing. Name them. I think I do know, but I'll tell you off pod. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Let's get into the bumble. This is, this is the bumble right here. Wait, did it's, we answer that question? Wait, what was the question? I think so. Like, like, or I feel yeah, rusty. Long, is there any? A, I feel rusty having long dry spells or anything that you can do. I think, yeah, mm-hmm. know, know that it's also, like, going to be fine. And yeah. like you said, yes, people are going to be so stoked that they're just there with you. Th- yeah. That I think is so smart. I always go into a sexual experience like that. Be like, oh, my God, they're so lucky to be with me right now. And yeah. I'm lucky to be with them. And, like, this is, we both want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. We have a bumble fumble that was sent in to us. And this one rocks. Cute. Please don't judge me as I'm, I have sickly human tummy troubles incredible <laughs> i'm already worried about where this is going yeah this oh, one rocks no. okay i had just had surgery because um i have some stomach issues so a couple weeks ago i was staying at my missus place we are medium <laughs> distance and they got up to go to work and before they left uh we talked a little bit about how it was like if wait how it was like i was there stay at home butch okay So they got up to go to work, and before they left, we talked a little bit about how I was a stay-at-home butch. That was so cute how you whispered that to yourself (laughs) first. Stop. Stay at home. Stay at home butch. Hey, fuck you guys. I'm a stay-at-home butch. (laughs) Wait, there's stay-at-home butches right now listening, thinking to myself, ooh la la. (laughs) Leaving me to fantasize about when we would finally get to live together once I graduate. So I started texting her about how excited I was about this while she was at work. Mm -hmm. I was also just chilling in her bed and my tummy was feeling fine. I hadn't been up to the bathroom, but I could hear her roommates, so I felt a little awkward. 
So I wonder if the, the bathroom's like in mm. the li- the hallway or something. Okay. But there are roommates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. No. And then I, I overestimated a fart and I shit her bed. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Absolutely <laughs> not. I almost started crying immediately, but I had to kick it into high gear. What? I won't get get into the details, but my underwear were thrown away, no. and it took a second to clear um, the bed, and I had been freaking out. Incredible. I sent Emma text with invisible ink, which w- was for us normally it meant it was going to be a sexy text. Anyways, <laughs> she no, laughed. She uh, she laughed, and it made me love them even more. Oddly enough, because they are not. They weren't even mad, and they didn't make me feel like shit. No pun Aww. intended. Aww. Anyways, shout out to M for forgiving me for shitting their bed. Shout out. Oh, shout out M. Shout Aww. out M for wow. handling, taking that in stride. Yeah. I don't know. I'd like to ask you both a question. For sure. <laughs> Please. Have either of you had something like this happen to you? No. A shit the bed Not situation? Me. Yeah, you know the classic. Classic shit the bed. The classic <laughs> shit the bed situation? <laughs> yeah. I'd love if you were like constantly. I haven't uh-huh. myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know. I have like unwanted thoughts that worry. Like I've had this fear mm-hmm. yeah. in my head <laughs> just racing through my mind. Are you serious? Yeah, man. I have like <laughs> You've fucking... been in close calls? No, no, no. I haven't been in close calls. I have like unwanted thoughts. I have potty trauma in my head. Got it. Okay. I'm, I also like, am like potty trauma constantly we were we are body trauma potty yeah. trauma kids yeah. at heart i mm. peed my pants a lot as a oh. child so i have potty trauma as a, yeah and a grown woman <laughs> <laughs> mackenzie's body has betrayed her a bunch of times constantly <laughs> constantly no but i think this is also thank you for sharing this with us thank you for this rocks that you told us about this and honestly these are the moments right scary moments like this yeah. where your partner coming through for you you need a good partner in this is scenario. like rock mm-hmm. and motherfucking roll oh yeah like this is like so comforting to hear that your partner was like lol and like it was all a f- we're and we're keeping it moving yes like yes. shout out m for real i mean this is worst case scenario yeah that, if i'm no, being no, no, honest yeah you shit yeah. the bed yeah. this is, you didn't shit your bed you shit somebody scenario. else's bed yeah. now i have to say yeah I have barfed in a partner's bed before. Incredible. You've barfed the bed. I've barfed the bed. I haven't done this, but I have barfed the bed. And it sucks beyond belief. But I agree with this person because the partner I was with was like, don't even worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, why don't you go in the other room? I'm going to clean the whole thing up. They didn't even let me go in there. That's so nice. And I think about it today. I was wasted. (laughs) Yeah, there we go. I was wasted. Yeah, that's. And it was one of the (laughs) kindest things. And I wasn't even, like, seeing this person, really. Aww. So it was, like, very nice that they stepped up and did that for me. And I'll still remember it to this day. Honestly, wow. that's a real sweetie. Yeah. That's a real sweetie. Aww. That is real sweetie. I mean, we've all been with people with tummy issues. So, yeah. like, this is affecting our our queer community. Everyone out there has something going on. Yeah. So, yeah <laughs> and you got to take nice. care of each other. <laughs> you really have to. You really have to. Has anything like this happened no shit stories. Yeah. No throw up stories. Ever. No. I feel like good the only for you. Thing has been period blood a lot, a lot of times. Yeah. And a lot. Like, <laughs> that one's a lot of times. <laughs> That's a rough yeah. one. We were just talking about this about how like we're now in our thirties. Yeah. Okay. Why the fuck can we not get a hang of it still? <laughs> still, I'm like, <laughs> no, why so true. the fuck? So still, true. every time, like, every what time. is happening? What do we do? Every month, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Not again. Why Literally. is yeah. that? It's like, like we have like amnesia when it comes to yeah. our bodies with that. It comes back and I'm like, <laughs> you gotta be fucking do? kidding me. <laughs> and it doesn't help even like I live with my wife. Yeah. We're both going through it. Sometimes yeah. at the same time. Do you, are you synced up with both your partners? We're synced up. <laughs> Not our partners yeah. with each other. <sighs> Which is like, I keep one. I think one, I've been with Nazara five years. I think one month out of five we've same. ever been sunk up. And that I'm like, sucks. isn't that crazy? That it's bullshit. Like. It's super homophobic. Yeah. thank god we're good at period sex but like yeah. for the love of gay god yeah can i please sync up with my literal fiance and you never will <laughs> and instead it's you me? i feel and like we're that's never gonna true. hook up queer culture is like syncing so up with your so business true. partner yeah <laughs> this is so bullshit no it's it's literally it's horseshit <laughs> it's horseshit we're gonna do one more ask and then get out of here perfect but we are obsessed with you i want you to I'm know obsessed with you guys wow okay ray get in here sorry do you remember when no our we were line dancing all together. Yeah. 
I can't believe that. And I was in the back of your guys' video. You were in the back of the video. People just keep DMing us about it. It's And insane. I was in the back of the video with my best friend's ex. Literally. So that was kind of drama. It was, okay, yeah. it, so many people sent us the video. And, and they were like, like you this... dummies, look who's behind you. We were like, okay, well, we are dumb. Sorry. We're dumb. <laughs> we're literally In our so defense, stupid. we'd never met her before. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I, I, yeah. how am I to know? Yeah. You know what I mean? It was high drama and we hadn't Spose. met you yet either <laughs> Expose. <laughs> Expose. you were a great line dancer Thank you're like you. really fucking good at I it i wasn't very good that night really i had, had a little too much to drink good for you it's yeah. hard it's if you drink it's like it's really it's impossible no you have to you really like you gotta be sobe there you have to be so so you have to be on your and if there's a girl you think is kind of cute too it's like you can't it's also harder oh it's, it's, and there's a lot of cuties there there's so many cuties there's also like Gay Hollywood is there. Yeah, uh, every yeah. boy genius is there. there. Yeah, I wasn't there that night, and I was so fucking pissed because I go every, I go every week. Oh, so you're on it. Yeah, I'm like, I couldn't believe because I like to think of myself as like being pretty connected in the queer community. Yeah. We have a podcast, mm -hmm. and like we do comedy, which is like a thing that like people go to. Yeah, yeah. I show up to queer line dancing. Mm -hmm. Nazara knows every single fucking person there, and, and you I'm knew like, nobody. okay, yeah. Who is? I'm sorry. Here? It's it, nobody knows who my you are. angel who works at a nonprofit. I'm like, uh, Nazar was like holding court. Literally, at this place. Oh my God. I know. Honestly, it was so hot. That's so hot. <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. We're obsessed with Nazar. All right, so we have a bumble fumble. We have one final ask a dike. That's exactly you what idiot. I said. You misheard me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and honestly, don't gaslight me. I know what I said. Okay, I have an ask a dike. Long story short, I spent a couple of years in a relationship with somebody, romanticizing the version of them that I thought they were when we met. When we broke up, I kind of came to about all the shitty ways that they had treated me. Mm. Plus, they did a bunch of stuff after we broke up that was really uh, disillusioned me to who I thought they were. My question is, how do you navigate the morning of the time you spent with this person and the realization that you'll never have the connection you thought you did with them? Like you're over the romantic aspect, but you wish you were on talking terms. I am acquaintances slash distant friends with my ex's girly. LOL. My and exes. have to block. Like, I know. Yeah. So I guess my, my ex is girly. And I have to block someone and like never get the closure you want with an ex or a friend is always really challenging. Oh, okay. So this is about trying to. There are a lot of ellipses. I just want you both to know. Yeah. It was kind of a run on sentence. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. actually got lost while reading it. So I hope you guys got it. I think we you got did. It. Yeah. I think we okay. got yeah, it. Yeah. Great. And breakups should be illegal. They're so terrible. Yeah. It's honestly, so crazy. gay breakups are. No, hard. they're so awful. It's insane. But I feel like, no, even, like, if it ends poorly or if that person does something after that makes you think, like, differently of them, I feel like you can still look at that time as being real. Like, don't be hard on yourself, yeah. I think. Don't – I feel like, I, yeah, I had a – to your relationship that ended because she cheated on me with five guys and I definitely spend a lot of time being like oh my god I'm such an idiot why didn't I see that excuse like, me yeah I, we, have to, I feel like we're gonna have to we have to pause at five guys burgers and fries <laughs> I know literally that's yeah that's the joke um was it five at once five separately like affairs oh, like multiple me? times each yeah I'm sorry that's, that's really hard Definitely why it took a lot, me a long time to be in a relationship again. That was the sure. three years after. That was the three years. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm getting it. But together. um, but yeah, I, I feel like uh, when I found all of that out, I was like, I'm literally an idiot. All that time was fake. Like our love wasn't real at all. But I then, then I think later was like, no, like that, I felt those feelings for a reason. I was, I, that love was real, even though she was being crazy. Yeah. And um and like she loved me in the way that she i guess knew how in that moment not the type of love i want obviously mm -hmm. but yeah i feel like you can mourn it, it, it's hard it's yeah hard to mourn i'm that. spiraling still thinking about these five different five affairs guys. i don't even know five men how do you meet five Truly, men I that's know. insane nobody knows there are not in yeah. existence five men no literally so that's I don't weird know. I, yeah i don't know five men. i've never seen oh five men God. in my life I think um, no wonder you write such good music. <laughs> yeah, truly. <laughs> Holy really hell! Sad, dark inspiration. Yeah. Oh my god! You gotta live. Uh, yeah, breakups I, are difficult. Breakups though. are really hard, and I think like sometimes when you're like a, I'm like a logical person, so my brain after a really rough breakup mm -hmm. will go if they were able to do that to me, then mm -hmm. they must have never loved me, mm -hmm. and then I'll kind of re-go back into everything mm -hmm. and also sometimes it's for self-preservation you go that hurt too much they have to be the villain yeah and like yeah. all of those things Easier. 
are very like uh, we've all done that yeah. we've all gone through a thing where we go back in time and we go here's all the bad or whatever but like just know that a breakup is like a lot of different phases of a thing mm -hmm. so it's not just like how you feel writing this email right now might not be how you feel in a week from now yeah, yeah. and so usually true. it doesn't so like knowing that it's in knowing that it'll kind of change and evolve and you'll grow and you'll heal and you'll go back sometimes even sometimes now you'll have something that will remind you of, of a relationship that you haven't been in in years and you'll go ah interesting mm -hmm. or you'll look back and it'll feel different as you age but like let that give you comfort into feeling however you want to feel about yeah. it or however you do feel about it mm -hmm. right now and the more that you can just like let all of that happen the more that you can kind of move through the different phases of your breakup mm-hmm that was well put. Yeah. Quit trying to hook yeah. up with me. I am right now. You're literally <laughs> trying to hook up with me. I'm just If amazing. you're watching this podcast, Mackenzie is giving me come funk me eyes right <laughs> Don't now. Don't say. <laughs> we have to name the episode come, come funk, funk me. me. Come funk me. We yeah. have to. This has been such a good episode. Oh, this was so fun. I know. I want you on want like every ever, single ever. week. I know, There's so many please. questions I still have for you. I'm going to ask off pod. It's also nice to have like somebody back in the scene kind of giving yeah. us the queer yeah, yeah, yeah. experience out there. I love to be in the scene. I love to have stories. It's so fun. That's that was the one thing I really missed about my like my three years of singledom. I like would come to every dinner and be like, I have a story for you. <laughs> yes. And I love being oh my that God. person. Queer sex in so the city fun. moments. Yes. Like wake up having girls yeah. brunch, like who did you fuck? Yes. Is magic. Oh my God. It's such but I feel magic. Like that's why it was so fun sitting down with you and Shannon that day. Because yeah. you guys <laughs> both, both had, single. Yeah. you're both single and you both have such it is amazing house right now. stories. It is. Yeah. yeah, what is it like having like living in an actual like gay frat house? It's it's you know what I say like if there was a fly on the wall or like a camera on the wall it would be way crazier than any episode of like the real L word or the, like anything scripted oh, for yeah. sure it's, it is crazy it's who wouldn't believe it <laughs> no there's an energy <laughs> yeah and I don't think I think people are like oh I get it like lol they're all creators the whole thing I'm like no, no you don't actually yeah. understand <laughs> it's just wild in there we you stood foot do... and I was like the energy yeah. I'm already sweating it was, yeah. I was like cool. oh my god anything you do I feel like you have to know that everybody's gonna know it's that's one of those it's just yeah. like such a small like community and mm -hmm. that is the the scary thing about being in a yeah this a really tight-knit friend group like that yeah and like lesbian sorority house mm -hmm. it's definitely yeah your friend group in particular i'm like everybody knows everything wow. everybody's gonna find out everything yeah 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 everyone's spilling it on the internet mm -hmm. holy I'm so shit excited. we have to have you on again yeah i would love that thanks for being yeah. so like open and funny and like i, I want to also just thank you for the stuff that you make because it made yeah. it makes me so happy to consume it and i'm so glad other people get it as well so thank you for doing that Thank you. Thank you guys. We're obsessed this. with you. I'm obsessed with you guys. So oh go God, stream, <laughs> go watch, go enjoy Zolita's music. And thank you so much for being here. I'm Rachel Scanlon. I'm Mackenzie Goodwin. I'm Zolita. Go do something gay today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.